on that particular aspect of it where they say no, no war crimes occurred and you as an individual who sees this thing completely differently, what's the uh, disparity between these two uh, arguments? I don't really know the answer to that. All I know is that the evidence I have worked on is a combination of the uh, dispatches from Colonel Gash, who was the, uh, the British military attaché, uh, the dispatches from the resident US ambassador here, the UN in-house in here, uh, their uh, viewpoint, uh, and uh, some respected journalists like the man from D, D Spiegel, so that's a German journalist, uh, across a whole spectrum of people who recognise that, and remember your army is partially trained by the UK, uh, and you have respected that, the rules of law. Uh, the, the real point, I suspect, is that it was a war. It was not a human rights a uh, violation. It was a war. And the rules of war are very different from uh, internal human rights arisings or like that. And for some reason, the uh, LTTE in there managed to convince uh, the parties in the rest of the world that it was just an uprising, not a war. Mm -hmm.